Hello, this is Evangelist Robert L. McKim, Sr. Well, of course, I did my last video while I was out in my vehicle, waiting on somebody to show up to see if they would work on, help me work on my vehicle, figure it out. Of course, they didn't show up. They end up basically going to bed. Forgot all about coming over so my vehicle still won't start still broke down <clears throat> and see this woman standing over here which is Renee she has cerebral palsy and epilepsy now there's people out there that would rather have her basically roll over and die and be put in her grave than to lift a finger to help her. Oh yeah, they'll help her. Put her in a nursing home, that's what they'll do. Because they think that's all people like Renee is good for. Just put in a nursing home and and, and then that's okay. That That's it, you know. If she can't work and be productive to society, then she's not worth anything I am being attacked again not by Renee's stepfather and this other lady formerly of West Lafayette Ohio but now this woman that I do believe happens to be a royalty Cause like I said, I've been to her Facebook page. Here's her Facebook page. She talks about going home after uh, leaving uh, the king of Saudi Arabia's uh, funeral. And she talks about a lot of other things. The trips that she's been on and so on and so forth. Yeah. If you don't want anybody going to your Facebook, don't put your name out there for somebody to go to your Facebook. And look you up and see what kind of person you really are. You're trying to say things that isn't true. You don't know me personally. You don't know my struggles. You're 42 years old, but you're still wet behind the ears when it comes right down to it because you don't know what it's like to grow up in America not having a whole lot. Now, you made a statement also that um, I'm um, <clears throat> paranoid, delusional, and social pathic, which I went to my um, books and looked it up and of course I also got it here on uh, sociopathic traits looked it up here on the internet so that I can have it right here without having so many books in in, uh, in my lap callous unconcerned for the feelings of others gross and present attitude of irresponsibility and disregard for social norms and obligations well in about in capability to maintain enduring relationships through having no difficulty in establish them in okay so I'm in a relationship I was married for 17 years until my ex-wife decided she no longer wanted to be married to me. 
Is that my fault? Because she divorced me and she wanted to change her uh, sexual uh, lifestyle? I also have friends in church, too. I can make friends, I and I have relationships with people. But a lot of people are growing old. A lot of people are dying. A lot of people are moving away. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't do nothing. To uh, I, my friend over here, well... He uh, has his own problems. I can make friends. And I do care about people. I was a home health aide for uh, ten, uh, well, five years. I'm five years, and a school bus driver, school bus driver with children, for another five years. So don't you tell me that I don't have any. Basically, you're ba making me out to be callous. Totally callous and heartless. When it's really you that's callous and heartless and you don't know nothing when it comes right down to it. And you're making threats. You're going to keep on making comments as long as I'm preaching. I'm not going to stop. Come to my home in Ohio, 120 12th Street, Lot M, Carrollton, Ohio, and make me stop preaching. Problem is, in America, there is a right to preach. There's a right to uh, um, preach what we want to preach and how we preach. But I preach God's Word, the Bible, the Holy Bible. And right here in... Um, 2 Timothy 3 But know this that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy Unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hardy. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people turn away. Turn away. For, the, for of this sort. Let those who creep and two households and make captors of gullible women. Well, I'm going to stop there because I wanted to read something else too here. In chapter 4, also right down below here, uh, chapter 4 of Second Timothy, preach the word, I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort, and long-suffering and teaching. For the time will come when there will be none enduring sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will keep, they will heap up 
for themselves teachers and they will turn away excuse me turn their ears away from the truth and he excuse me and be turned aside to fables but you be watchful in the things enduring evocation do the work of an evangelist fulfill your ministry now this woman would rather have me shut up and stop preaching the truth of Jesus Christ and the gospel because she thinks she's better because she has some royalty well bring it on why don't you have your royalty people come here and shut me up I mean your guards I'm sure you have guards you know you can send your guards since you don't want to dirty your hands Or are you just putting on a good show for the world to see? Oh, look here at this uh, woman. She she thinks she knows something, but she doesn't know nothing. And she's put me down for being a uh, servant, not only to God, but to uh, other people. She's basically trying to make me and everything I have done since 1984 out to be a total lie. Like I was never in React and React shouldn't exist because she's acting like Walter Thornsley who was a police officer of Newcomerstown, Ohio and an EMT of West Lafayette that thought people like me who were in react shouldn't be doing what we were doing who gives you and everybody else like him the right to tell us what to do when to do it and how to do it nobody not even you lady who thinks you know it all and so you made this statement in my last, well, not this last post. Well, the last post that uh, you made a statement on. That you do not like people like me who preach. Because you says here, I will continue comment as long as you continue to post your preaching on and well you can't even spell and right you say on ands ifs I mean excuse me no excuse I mean no ands it's about about it okay preaching no ands should be a comma there, really. Ifs should be a comma there, too. Or buts should be a comma there about it. If you do not like my comments, don't read them. Long story short, if you don't care what... I don't care what you think. Well, if you don't care that what I think, then don't watch my videos, lady. Then she goes on, I'm sick and tired of people like you running your mouth that doesn't know nothing. Sound familiar? Well, as I said before, I'm nothing like uh, Stephen Hawkins. Just because in the, he's in a wheelchair doesn't mean he's so smart. He denounces God and a fool in his heart says... In his heart, there is no God. A fool. So Stephen Hawkins is a fool in a wheelchair that thinks he's right, but he's not right. And there's a lot of people out there that basically pretend to be smart when they're not smart. Just like this lady here. She's pretending to be smart. She's rich. 
She can go to other countries. She can visit the other rulers in other countries. But yet she's taking her time out. She's taking her time out to come after little old me. I'm not going to stop, so bring it on. Send your uh, thugs here to my house. Or why did you, why better off, why did you come here and make me shut up yourself? Come on. Come on. Bring it on. I read the scripture to you, and if you don't like it, if you can't get it, then it's your problem, it's your soul, and you're going to have to deal with him up there. You want to kill me? Here I am. Kill me. Right now. Kill me. Get it over with. Because absent from this body, present with my Lord. I am tired of people like you. You, you, say, you say that... Um, You're sick of people like me? Well, I'm sick of people like you that's making your threats against people like me. I take five, I take five steps forward. You want to knock me ten steps back. That's what kind of people you are. I take five steps forward. You want to knock me Ten steps back. Well, it's not going to happen. Not until you kill me first. Or he takes me home. Or the rapture happens. But I know the rapture isn't going to happen right now. Because the, man, the son of prediction has to be revealed. There has to be a falling away. And the son of prediction has to be revealed. Before Jesus returns to this earth. And neither that. Well, there has been a falling away. But the son of prediction has not been revealed yet. Unless you're the son of prediction. You just haven't come out yet. Maybe, maybe it's a daughter of prediction. Who knows? But um, are you going to turn around and tell Paul Begley... Pastor Paul Begley, that he has to stop preaching also? Maybe you have. Let me go in here and see. Uh, Paul Begley here. Uh, let's see. I can see here. Are you Here's serious? Paul Begley. Are you serious? Now, folks, I have been in worse snow blizzards before, and, I, and, and this is just getting started here in Indiana. It has been sleeting. It started out raining, and it turned into sleet. Well, that is it's why not a blizzard in Indiana. It's not a blizzard here in Ohio. In northern Indiana. There's only a blizzard uh, in, in New York. In Indiana for service today because I knew what was coming, and uh, it has. It started hitting here about noon. As the snow started to come down, and as the snow started coming well, down, I see now the you're, wind, I don't howling, see you posting on uh, his. It's uh, gotten very ugly, but folks, that's nothing. New York, you're getting ready to get buried. The New York City area and the entire East Coast area, you're getting ready to get hit with an ugly storm, Juno, of two to three feet of snow. It's going to get very, very ugly. So we're going to be praying for you. Thank God it was beautiful weather the whole time I was in New York. So the last day I was there, it started to snow. I'm just going to stop that for now and go back to uh, my channel. And oh uh, yeah, that's uh, something else I want to um, do was here real quick. Go to my channel. Click on her name. And it, uh, she doesn't have nothing on her Facebook. Just her picture. Go to videos. 
She has no videos good about. All it just says is that she joined uh, just a few days ago. So since uh, January the 23rd, she has been doing nothing but basically scoffing up my videos. <coughs> Well, like I said, like I said, uh, outside, uh, like I, this video here, I just did. You got your day coming with the Lord God Almighty Jehovah. The great I am. You got your day coming. And you got your day coming with Jesus Christ. Where he will separate the goats from the sheep. Are you a sheep or are you a goat? Or are you just such, a, such an evil person that only God will judge you? And cast your soul into the lake of fire. Well, I think that's a no-brainer. I don't think you are a Christian. If you was a Christian, you wouldn't even be making these comments that you are making. You would also think twice first about what you're saying. Yeah, I made some comments about uh, the food stamps. But what I was trying to get across was that there are people out there that gets way too much food stamps. That doesn't need all that much food stamps. Because what they do with it. They don't even buy food stamps. They sell their food stamps for drugs. Or they sell their food stamps for. Uh, cigarettes. And alcohol. Now is that the right thing to do. With food stamps. You're griping at me. What needing more food stamps. Because I'm a diabetic, I have to eat. If I don't eat, my sugar goes down. So right, right now, I'm finding this cold situation. And I'm taking um, this generic Robitussin uh, CF. And long story short, I'm trying to move my computer here. This is what I'm taking currently. And this is what they sold uh, before. The uh, label says uh, reduces cough, stubby nose, chest congestion, um, and mucus. None dialsing. And this one here says uh, relieves cough. Uh, nasal congestion, no chest congestion, mucus, non drowsy, and then it says peak cold. I took my sugar this morning because my eyesight was uh, m messing up. It kept going out of focus and I wasn't feeling right. Wait a minute. There we go. That's what my sugar was this morning. 211. 211 is what was this morning. I took my diabetic pills. This is what I'm, well, I don't, I'm running out. I have to call my doctor and get it filled. I take, uh, Metformin, and I take uh, glipizide, which I still have a few in there, but I got to call these in in the middle of the week to get it filled. That's my diabetic pills, alone. There's other medication I take too. This bag 
and then I go get uh, these filled as well. So don't you tell me what to do, when to do it, or how to do it, unless you want to come here and tell it to my face. You have no authority in this country to tell in a, in a United States citizen that they have to stop preaching. I will be contacting the State Department and find out who you are. And I'm going to tell them that you're making threats on my YouTube videos because I'm preaching. There, was, there is a law There's this law here. Oh, let me get the uh, front uh, front of it here. It's called uh, well, it's House Bill um, six. Oh, excuse me, one six eight five to establish an office of religious persecution monitoring to provide from the importation of sanctions against countries established in a pattern of religious persecution for other purposes. This is from 1997 is when this bill was passed. Here's the bill right here. 